Okay, happy Friday. Happy crazy Friday. This is Friday going into the close of the month. I love Friday. Close of the month. Close of the month. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Okay, first and foremost, everything we do, we start with gratitude. And today I have put up here some gratitudes for this morning. So I just want to thank you know, us for all of us for this new day. I'm so filled with happiness and gratitude. I love this because it's everything that I think about. Grateful for another day to live my life. Grateful for the air in my lungs beating my heart. Thankful for simply just being alive. Appreciative. Gratitude for who I am. Um, what I have. You know, I have lots of gratitude in my heart and an attitude of gratitude and all the blessings that the day will bring. So. I, um, if you are practicing gratitude like, like I am, this is a great one to just kind of stay in the mirror and say to all of you, and I'm just grateful for each and every one of you. And I wanted to quickly go over a couple of announcements before I bring on our speaker and just remind people that there's lots of uh, activities going on in the, in the whole uh, United States of America and, of course, abroad. And, um, you know, the ones I have up here are just things that I found on Facebook. If you have anything that you'd like to build into this, for sure. Otherwise, you can always look on the events calendar in the back office and on, on Facebook. There's always a lot of information, but we really want to drive people to all of these events and celebrate our Success From Home magazine, celebrate our new products, celebrate, just celebrate that we are just in such a great company and we have such amazing people surrounding us and just all of that. Um, I wanted to remind you guys that if you're on the Epic page you, and you know that this is going on along with our, our trip with Miriam, there's another trip involved with, you know, getting PCs and brand partners. And so um, be thinking about that as you're building your momentum into um, this end of the month run and then into the fall because uh, this is very very exciting right and so uh, we want to get as many of you involved in this um, in this amazing trip to Hawaii and then of course um, our trip volume for uh, Cancun so um, if you don't know about all of the rules and stuff that's all located in the back office and uh, of course you can go on the for the people that are on the epic team you can go on there and get all of that from the flyer uh, I'm pretty excited about the fact that you know Karen gave me the idea of, of doing a training on uh, asking corporate to help us out and so corporate has has just, just gone above and beyond we are going to have a corporate trainer come on Monday zoom to tell us um, you know to go through grow prospect and they've asked me that if you have any specific questions that you want to make sure that uh, is discussed to please you know email me in advance to uh, my email or you can private message me on Facebook and I'm going to try to compile the questions in advance to give to them otherwise we're just going to go over go prospect so that's pretty great you guys I feel I feel really excited about that and because um, I know all of us on this mastermind as leaders we want to be able to duplicate this into our into our business okay I'm super excited about having Dale Munger on with us today I always love it when he shares uh, with us and um, it's been a while and I know he's been pretty busy welcoming Keelani to his beautiful family and as you can see there the picture I mean just so absolutely amazing and wonderful and couldn't be happier for you guys Dale um, just a wonderful thing to happen in your life and um, such a beautiful family so I know he's very busy he's taking a son to school right now and uh, he's um, on with us right now so I am going to turn it over to you Dale and um, and thank you again for for being here with us of course of course Annie you just put a big old smile on my face when I saw that picture <laughs> I appreciate that <laughs> um, you know um, it's been it's been awesome I'll tell you that guys um, having a baby uh, in the house again uh, has been awesome I forgot how much more work I would be doing. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> it's been a, a challenge kind of adjusting to, you know, um, doing a lot more work because Vanessa take care of the baby and all that good stuff. So, but it's worth it. Always worth it. And um, love every second of it. And I'm excited to be on here as well. And I'm going to do my best. I know I'm not looking at you. You probably don't want me to because I would be crashing, right? <laughs> but I'm going to just share with you Gosh, I, I'm not. I'm not kidding you. I'm really not. I'm not kidding you right now. I probably done 
at least 150 game plans since convention. I would say at least 150 game plans since convention. And I know I've done um, a few with you guys on your team, on this, on NA's team as well, including Robin and Maria. I have done a bunch um, for everyone. I can't even keep up, to be honest with you. Um, so the, 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 that's what I'm going to stay with. That's the theme I'm going to stay with tonight, this morning. Tonight, this morning, doesn't matter. Um, I really think it's very, very important that I have done – I have taken 150 notes on every game plan. Let me just say that. And every single time across the board, it's the same thing. I'm finding out the same exact thing, right? And there's a few things that people really aren't doing. Number one, they're not doing sit down. Across the board, majority of them not doing sit down. And um, that's, that's a game changer for your business. And if you're not doing sit downs, we need to adjust. Um, and because that's a big one. Okay. So second, I find that people are really struggling to get people to do sit downs or they're struggling to get people to um, try the product or even just come to a market party or anything. Okay. These are, these are key things guys. Um, and I'll tell you why there's a couple of reasons, right? So, the number one reason uh, people struggle to get anybody to do anything for Nerium is the way you invite. If you are inviting one like this, let's say you're calling, I'm calling my best friend, Annie. And I call up Annie and I'm just like, hi, Annie, how are you doing? And we start talking and I'm talking weird, like I'm talking right now. And I act like I'm reading something or I just got no energy and I'm just like, you know, I'm pretty excited. I have this thing. It's like, we're going to make a billion dollars. I thought of you because you're super successful and I want to do it with you. It's, these are the kind of things we say to people, <laughs> but if you don't call people with energy and your excitement, they will have zero energy and zero excitement on the return side. Very, very important that when we do something, we do it with energy and we do it with excitement. Um, why is it why is that important because when you look at whatever you do in life when you run around let's say you're outside and you're and you're working and you got that one person at, at at work and they're always happy and they're always energetic how many people want to be around it how many people are constantly around that person most people why because we are attracted to that we are attracted to that what is going on with this person i want to know i want that part of my life does that make sense guys so with that said, if you're inviting with what you are doing, you are killing your business, which is okay. I don't want you to think, oh my gosh, I'm struggling. No, 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 no. I need you to understand that that's perfectly normal that we do that. It's perfectly normal that we invite with what, right? Because that's what we're thinking we're doing. But you have to invite with why. And that will have, you will have so many more people show up in your business. So many more people, I can tell you. Um, I talked to a girl named uh, Monica under, underneath the, the ransoms and um, she was telling me that she can't get nobody to sit down with her. She can't get anybody to come to the party. She just says, nobody's interested. Nobody wants to try the product. And I said, okay, okay, okay. We need to stop there. Well, what are you saying? Well, I'm telling them about Nerium. Here's what's going on. I have another girl that I sat down with a week in the business. Um, and she said, nobody wants to do it. Nobody wants to get started. Nobody wants to try the product. And I said, okay, well, what are you saying? She's like, well, I tell them, I go, look, it costs 500 bucks to get started and we can get your product for free. And I'm like, is that how you were approached? And she said, no. I go, well, how are you approached? She goes, well, the person actually got to know me. I said, okay, and what else do they do? Um, I asked them what they do. And, and they said, okay, well, what did they, what did they say? And he said, well, he said, I mean, a video. I'm like, okay, did you think that was weird? It's like, no, I go, what happened? She's like, I want to know more information. What happened next? He sat down with me. I'm like, okay, so did he do all the work or did he have somebody to do all the work? Well, somebody did all the work. I'm like, did you get signed up? Signed up after that? She said, yeah. Are you doing that same thing with your people? She said, no. I go, exactly. That's why it's not working. Right? And so you got to remember that we, we are so excited that we go tell people why we're excited and we tell things about what we're doing and that just simply doesn't work it, it doesn't work if 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 you are getting people to see the information 
and you're not the information, we're doing it correct. Um, and so with uh, Monica, I asked her, she, we, we found out her why. I said, look, you know, look guys, this is very, very important. Some people really struggle with their why and I understand it, but, but I don't, but I don't because everybody has a why. Um, and so you might be that person on this line that goes, well, no, I'm, I'm that one that doesn't have a why. Well, that's because you think a why is something that maybe it's hurting you, right? Now, it's not always something that hurting you. I know that why to Ackerman stands for what's hurting you, but not, not always. It's not always that. that. Um, and so it might be this disgusting, annoying bill that you have in your life that you just, it just, it causes fights maybe with your family. Or it's just something you want to get rid of, you know, that you would feel so much better and less stress. Maybe it's a thousand dollars. Maybe it's three. Maybe it's ten. Maybe it's more. We don't know what we're dealing with. But what if you took your weekly checks in this business and you just paid off that bill? You said, oh, I'm going to take my weekly checks. Or I'm going to take my monthly check. And that's what I'm going to use to pay off my bill. That bill. Well, that's a good why. That's a good reason. That's something that will move you forward. Why? Because you're going to put that bill everywhere in your house. You're going to see it everywhere and you're going to go to work. Right? And here's the thing. Can people relate to that? Well, let me see if I'm calling up any. I would just say, look, you know, I found a way to pay off the one most annoying bill in my life. And I'm super excited about getting rid of the stress in my life. I'd love to share with you what I'm doing. People can relate to that. People all over the planet have a bill. <laughs> we all have some bills. And if we all were debt free, we would all feel so much better, right? So that's something we can relate to, okay? Maybe it's not a bill. Maybe it's like Julie and several other people that I've done game plans with. They called up their mom. They called up their dad. They called up their sister. They've called up their brother. They've called up someone that they really, really love. And they said, you know what? I'm taking a Cancun. It's a five-star trip. Um, and it's, it's going to be paid for all by me. And I'm excited to do this. And, and here's the thing, you tell your mom, you tell your dad, whoever it is that you do, you're taking them to Cancun. Well, guess what? You're not gonna wanna disappoint them. So you're gonna put that Cancun trip all over your house. And you're gonna look, I found a way to take my dad or my, or my mom, whoever it is you're taking on a trip, an all inclusive trip for all they've done to where I am today. And I'm excited. I'd love to share with you what I'm doing. Can we sit down? Can we, can I come over and show you what I'm doing? Can I like, can you try this product? You know, these things really, really, really work guys. And so when you, when you think about why, I don't want you to think about maybe what's hurting you right now. I want you to think about maybe what's annoying in your, in your life right now that you can use to push you forward. See, these are little things that you might not think, but they really push you forward. They've pushed people forward so much that these people have done more activity than they ever have done. Some of these, uh, I have one girl that's been in the business for um, three years. And she came up to me and she's like, you know what, Dale, I'm ready to do this. And I said, okay, if you're ready to do this, I want you to come with me. We're going to do a game plan. And when you come to this game plan, I want you to come with the biggest, largest list you can possibly make. Now, keep in mind, she's been in the game for three years. I'm thinking maybe she's going to bring 50 to 100 people, right? Because she's been in the game. She came to the table with 1,200 names. 1,200 names. I said, I mean, I want you to go through Instagram, Facebook, all social media outlets, your phone, your entire phone. And I want you to not prejudge anybody that you haven't shared this information with. Keyword, that you haven't shared this information with. She still came to the table with 1,200 people. Okay, now I want to say this. I would say probably half of them we have to build relationships with. But what if you took five people a day and you just start building relationships? Oh my gosh, your family, your kids look so cute. What are you doing these days? Or you look on their Facebook, you stalk them and you go and, they, and they're, um, they're, they just started a new job. Oh my gosh, your job looks pretty cool. How are you having fun? Start building relationships with people and maybe 30 days down the road, they start to ask you, okay, well, what are you doing? And then boom, why you're doing this business, right? But here's the thing. This girl has probably done in three years, maybe 20 sit down. Maybe. She's done 20 sit downs in two weeks. Now, why? Why is that? Why has she done 
so many sit downs, way as much as she's done in three years in two weeks. And I want to share this the reason why. The reason why is because she has a list. And because she's not afraid to call someone because she knows exactly what she's going to say. She's one of those that has a bill that is weighing her down. It's weighing her down. It's stressing her out. So she's calling up her people. She's doing the sit down. We're doing sit downs. I'm calling into them. But Kai's calling into them. A bunch of people are calling into them. And we're doing sit downs for her. Well, she's already signed up out of those 20 sit downs. She has seven PCs and three BPs. So 50% have signed up from sit downs. Okay, now we know seven of them are customers, but that's fine. Those customers can turn into brand partners. She's fast are qualified and she's almost got nine customers by doing sit downs, by inviting why she's doing this. See, people are more supportive when you tell people why you're doing something versus what. Okay, so with that said, um, I want to say something to all of you because you're very, to me, very much, I believe this. I believe that every one of you are leaders. There's no way you get up this early in the morning and you're on a call with Annie or wherever it is that's on this line and you're dedicated. So to me, a leader leads. And so what I mean by that, every one of us should be doing game plans with our team. And the number one thing is we want to find out why, using that why to invite, of course. Number two thing is you want to build a list. We have to build a list. They should be coming to the table with a list as big as they possibly can, no prejudging. You'll be shocked. I've, I've got 1,200s. I've got 700s. I've got 500s, tons of 400s. Um, gosh, I mean, I could call out Robin Robin right now. Um, Robin, she's been in the game for, for, for what, just over four years? Yeah, about right? four years. Okay. And she's had to redo her whole list, over 200 people on that list. Am I right? Yeah, Robin? it was 211 yep. as of the other day. Okay. Yeah, that I never and talked now to we are ever. Crit. Exactly. Right, guys? I saw that. Not, 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 now we know that we all have people we can talk to. <laughs> right? And it was so easy to get this list. Am I right? Like, we just talked about little things, what, what to do, why. And now it's just becoming more clear. We're getting things. We're doing more things. We have more activity going on. She has bottles. We talked about bottles again. And the one thing I did talk to with Robin is I said, look, if you don't have bottles, we need to get bottles. We're in business and we need to buy some bottles. We need to do this thing. We need to be able to have people trying the product. We need to have people sitting down and we need to be booking parties. Right. And so as a leader, what I'm trying to say is you don't want to get off that phone until you have booked your calendar up with five to 10 sit downs for that person. Now, remember if I'm talking to Robin, and she says, well, I don't think I can do five to 10 sit downs this month. I'm like, okay, great. What do you think you can do? She said, oh, I think I can do three. I'm like, great. Let's book three right now. I want to do these three for you. Right? Okay, great. Now I got three sit downs on my calendar for Robin. Move on to Annie. Annie. Okay, I can do 15. Okay, great. Let's book 15 right now. Okay. Then we don't get off the phone. Now I've done, now I've booked 18 as a leader. I have 18 sit downs this month. I go to my next person and she wants to book about five. Okay, now I got five more. I got 23 more sit-downs on, on the books, right? As a leader, we should be booking sit-downs for our team, booking parties, making sure, that, okay, who are the five people that are going to try the product? You got five bottles. Okay, well, we have that list. Okay, great. Make sure we drop those off today. Um, and then who are the five, next five we're going to try it next week? I need to make sure that I have next week's planned out, right? If you don't have 30, uh, a 30-day 30 window of who's going to try the product, we're missing the, the point. Right, so who's trying the product for 30 days? Who are we gonna sit down with? Now again, I'll give you another example. You know, um, I have a girl on the team. She struggles, she's, she, not, what, <laughs> she stays at RMD. She can't move past RMD. I don't wanna say that's struggling, she's just staying at RMD. And um, when she's working with a leader, she's like, okay, here's what we're doing. We're doing the, the accountability and that's it. And I said, okay, well, are you booking sit-downs with them? Are you getting them to try product? Do you know how many bottles they have to try get to try the product? She's like, no. Okay, so you're just taking their numbers for their honesty. And I, and yes. I'm like, no, no, no. You need to get on the phone. You need to teach your, get your leaders on the phone. We're going to get on the phone. And we're going to 
we're going to have your leaders start booking sit downs with your team. And we're going to have you starting booking your team, team, your team sit downs and parties and pictures. Um, we did that and she grew her first month because keep in mind, I just started doing it. She grew by seven, 7,000. It's not bad, right? Wouldn't you agree? That's still growth, right? The next month she grew by 22,000 volume because her team was booking sit downs all 30 days. Her team was booking, making sure their team was getting out the, their bottles. They had a list of people that are going to try the box. So they had a roadmap. They knew what they were going to do for 30 days. Imagine what would your team look like if your team knew what they were going to do for 30 days. I mean, they had a plan. They knew they had these many sit downs. They knew they were going to, this, this, this week, this person was, these five were trying the product, this five, this five, this five. They knew that, okay, I'm going to book this parties, how to invite to a party, the same thing. Now, key is when somebody says no and they still say no, I just had this happen with a brand new girl in San Diego. And sorry about my voice. And she, she had people, she had seven people confirm. And five at the very last day said they can't come. Okay. She wasn't discouraged because she had booked five sit downs. When those five said, I can't come, said, Great. When can I sit down? And I want to bring it to you. So you don't get discouraged because you, you know what? You've already, you're still having a real off party with them, but you're doing it by yourself. Does that make sense, guys? So these are key things as a leader. We're all leaders on this line. What would happen if you gave your team a roadmap for 30 days? What would it look like? Are you kidding me? It would look like growth. And what would it do the next month? It would look like a compounded growth every single time. Why? Because you actually are building a business. You're actually running it like a business, meaning you're taking responsibility and booking sit downs and booking parties and booking pictures and booking sit downs and booking parties and booking pictures. What I mean by pictures, if they got three bottles, I got at least 12 people on a list of 30 days, they're going to try the product. These little things are so huge for you guys and it will build your business and that will really help. So I'm in a very bad area. I hope that really helps. Annie. I might be cutting out here real soon because I'm in a bad area. I'm at a school. But I really hope that really helps you guys. Genuinely, I hope that brings a lot of clarity to you guys. Dale, I so appreciate what you have shared with us today. I, I actually built a slide really quick for everybody. This is a huge call to action for not only us for the uh, end of the month, but for the month coming towards us and the end of the year to achieve our goals and what we want to do. And this call to action of remaking our list, booking our sit downs, inviting with our why. You know, we've talked a lot in this group about our why and the passion and what, what that means to us. And it's just you know, it's so great to hear from you and to make it so simple. Help your team book the sit downs, grow, grow, grow. These are the things you guys that, add, you know, we get on this call and this Zoom every day. Dale is absolutely right. We are committed to helping one another grow. The biggest thing about this is, is that we come together. Now we have to implement these amazing ideas and the energy that we have from our leadership. And I just want to thank you, Dale, so much for, you know, coming into the Zoom and giving us uh, such great reminders of the things that we know we can do and we can achieve and go to the next level. So I appreciate each and every one of you. And I look forward to seeing you guys on Monday, but have an amazing weekend. I know we have blitz parties going on all over the organization and there's a lot of energy and um, we're going to come into our Monday with uh, learning about go prospects. So I'm excited about that. And I'm excited about, you know, each and every one of you and, and just let's go do it. You guys, let's go grow. All right. Thanks, Dale. Thank you, Dale. Thanks, Annie. Thank, thank you, Dale. Thank you, Annie. Thanks, thank Annie. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank, thank you. Dale. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.